So things have just been a little bit crazy. It's in the box and it has her sticker. I moved my office. back to another video i can't talk as loud because i'm not downstairs but this is a new location we are in my dining room or actually no we're like in the kitchen area slash kitchen table area i've moved my desk from downstairs to up here now because downstairs is literally as cold as antarctica and i am struggling with my eye i don't know if you can tell maybe not because of this lighting but it's it was so red this morning I'll try and put a picture here, but it's so red. I'm going to see the doctor tomorrow. So hopefully they can give me some ideas or maybe some remedies to help not make it so itchy. But it was so red and it hurt this morning. Like the skin part, like my actual eye isn't red. It's like the skin under my eye. And it was so like sore and raw. So I was a little bit like, oh my God. So I called the doctor immediately this morning. I was like, we need to see and book an appointment. But anyway, welcome back to another studio vlog. It is currently 2.22 and I have just got back from Pilates class. I'm starting this video so late because I was editing a video this morning and then I was on the phone with the CRA and trying to get some answers as to why my taxes can't actually be submitted and they didn't give me an answer. Um, so that was that. I spent like two hours on the phone waiting for somebody just to pick up. And then while I was waiting, I was also editing the studio vlog that just was posted today for me, but last week for you. And I also got in a package. I got a package in, I don't wanna show you the front, but this is from our Cherry Corner. And I ordered a frame from her. She, I think only ships to the US right now. I think she's trying to work out like international shipping, but I wanted to get a little bit of a smaller frame to my big frame that I have. And then I also didn't want like something super duper small so I could fit a little bit more coasters as well. So like a medium size. And I wanted to support Jessica as well. So I bought a new frame. So let's open it up together. in the box and it has her sticker i can't really show i don't want to like make it fall out and it comes with the frame cover as well here she is it's going to be a perfect size for bringing some small projects to markets it's not as small as my other one so it's like a perfect medium size the other one that i have is super large and then i have which fits like wholesale orders when i need to do a lot of inventory prep and then the smaller frame fits like if I have just a tiny order or like two or three website wholesale website Etsy orders to complete. So I have my three set of different size frames complete, which means I can get to work on doing punch needle. Today I wanna to get the punch needle tutorial video uploaded as an unlisted video on YouTube so that I can get a link to that and put it in the instruction page so that I can finally package up the orders. So I'm going to do that quickly now so that it will upload and I can get the link. And then, cause I'll need to like copy and paste the link into the instruction page. And then while that is printing out all the instruction pages for all the orders that we got over the weekend, I am going to start putting the fabric on the embroidery hoop and getting it traced out. So there's a couple steps for these punch needle boxes. I'm going to put the timer on on my phone on the app called A Tracker is what I use to track all my time. And I wanna see how long it can take me to make all of these hoops for these orders. Um, I just think it's cool. And I'm going to get started on that now. I do need to start tufting the market frame that I showed in last week's video because we're getting close to market season and we're also getting close to me moving. And it's gonna be difficult when I'm moving the week of the 22nd of April, which is the week that I'm supposed to be moving because I have an MRI that Saturday and then that's the same Saturday that we're supposed to be getting the truck to move all the big stuff. So it's just gonna be a hectic week. And then the Friday next week I have to go and like do like the house inspection and stuff. So it's very busy in my personal life. And so I need to balance that with the business because we have market inventory and we need to get like 
a couple more frames than before my first market. I'm trying to build up enough inventory that I don't have to like go crazy beast mode before every market. Even though I do have like May to kind of make more, I want to have enough for this market because I usually do really well at this one. Anyway, I'm talking really fast and I'm trying to turn a new leaf where I take things slower and just live my slow girl era life. Um, and it's not going very well because my mind is always going at like 7,000 miles per hour. So I do need to relax a little bit, but yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the stuff I said I was gonna do and we're gonna do it up here so we can get the natural light and we can not freeze to death because I'm also wearing shorts. So yeah. <laughs> I'm currently in my pajamas because it is 8 30 and i'm going upstairs to play the sims on my mom's computer because i need to decompress anyway i finished prepping all of the kits the only thing i have to do is put them together in the box and i'm so happy with how everything is coming together and how quickly i've done this i'm actually so impressed with myself Tomorrow I have a couple of things that I need to do that aren't home. So I have to go to Pilates and I have to go to the doctors. I'm going to see the doctor at 11.30, hopefully get some answers about my face and my skin. I am excited to hear back and see what they have to say. But I want to pack the kits in the morning and I'm going to do that upstairs because it's still freezing down here. And I'm also going to package up a couple of wholesale orders that I got in over the weekend, um, which don't include Punch Needle because those aren't available to purchase wholesale right now. But I'm gonna package those and then I'm going to get started on prepping some stickers and bookmarks to be made for another wholesale order that's to be shipped out on Wednesday. So that's kind of the plan tomorrow. I do need to actually pack more stuff because I was supposed to pack tonight, but since I ended up working late today, I told my mom like we can pack some more stuff tomorrow. So I won't really be working in the evening tomorrow. So just I have like the day to work, but that's okay. I would like to get at least some punch needle started tomorrow, but I feel like that just is not possible unless I punch needle in the morning in between packaging up wholesale and packaging up all the punch needle boxes so we will see how fast that I could do that and how early I start working. I am not going to Starbucks or going out in the morning so I'm just gonna make my matcha at home, eat something and then I'm just gonna get right to work. So that's pretty much the plan for tomorrow. Um, 
I'm gonna be working until like five o'clock anyway, but I don't know. Sometimes I get a little distracted. I sit and I do nothing for like, you know, 30, 40 minutes and then I waste a lot of time. So I have to really kind of put some pep in my step because we have a lot of market things to get done as well. In terms of making sign for my booth, I need to actually like set up my table and get a mock set up. I have an eight by eight booth, I think, for the market, for my first market in the first weekend of May. And then I think I also have an eight by eight for the one in end of May. I don't know, but I have a lot of 10 by 10 booth setups. I have it all in my notion. So I'm going to check tomorrow, but I do need to make like a couple of different setups with my new displays and my new pegboard. And I do need to make a sign for the pegboard. So we have a lot of things that are like on the to-do list, but like I can't get to them until I finish packaging up orders. So yeah. And amidst all the signage and stuff, I need to finish obviously that frame and then I also need to think about some cool things I'm bringing to the market so I want to bring the kits obviously or bring some of the punch little boxes to the markets I also want to bring some mystery boxes so I have a lot of apparel which I don't sell anymore and they're just sitting on my shelf so I want to create like some little mystery bags for crewnecks t-shirts and hoodies so hopefully people will purchase them and if not I'm gonna post them online as well and then if not we're gonna donate them to my grandmother's church because they can always use more clothes, more hoodies, more sweatshirts. That's that. I'm going to be in my silk pajamas that make my skin feel so nice. And I'm gonna go play the game now and I'm gonna enjoy my evening until I have to go to bed in like literally like 45 minutes. So good night and I'll see you in the morning. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I am feeling so good this morning. I woke up and I can't see because I don't have my glasses on, but my eye is looking a lot better than it was yesterday. I think yesterday was just probably like something irritated it. I tried a new like ointment for it, but I'm feeling better. My eyes feeling better. So that means I'm feeling better. And I am just gonna go upstairs and have a little breakfast. I feel like having Lucky Charm cereal this morning. So that's what I'm gonna have. And I'm also filming a day in my life on my phone. I have been trying to film a day in my life for like ages and I only filmed one like way long time ago. So I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get back into filming more lifestyle content for my TikTok because that was my goal last month that I didn't end up really doing. But anyway, that's just a little update. I am just here to say good morning and we're going to get to packing the punch doodle boxes right away. I need to cut all of the stickers for the boxes and then we need to package them all up and send them off. So I'm very excited and then we have some wholesale orders to package and then I'm going to sit and I'm going to get a little bit of tufting done and I'll see what I can get done before I have to leave for my doctor's appointment. So let's eat and then we will continue making and packing the punch doodle boxes. I packaged up everything into a crate <laughs> because I'm working upstairs it's too cold down here so I have to like d prep some stuff down here and then like bring it upstairs in order to work in the warmth so here is my transport crate I'm bringing everything I, this crate I'm gonna use for markets but right now it's gonna be my transport crate because I don't want to make like 7,000 trips downstairs so I have all the stuff for the boxes. I even have the tissue paper that I'm gonna to cut to put in the box. So I'm gonna bring the crate upstairs and I'm gonna come back down and grab enough boxes to package those. And then once I've packaged all of those up, I'm gonna take some pictures and take some videos for content stuff. Oh, I can't forget about the punch needles. Okay, I almost forgot to bring those. But after, oh my eye. After I package all those up, I'm going to print out all the shipping labels on my little Munbin printer, but I have to actually bring my laptop down and do that because it needs to be plugged in and my computer's upstairs. So I'm gonna bring my laptop down and then we're gonna do that. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Ramona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my holy hope. I look for the things I don't know For all in this I stand alone 
Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Okay, so I finished packaging up all of the Pushita boxes that I could and that I prepped yesterday. I'm so proud of myself for getting them all done so quickly. I am actually so impressed with myself. I got two wholesale order packages this morning and then also a couple of sticker orders. So these are all the people who ordered only punch needle boxes and then anyone who has other things in their order like punch needle stuff or like stickers and air fresheners and stuff like that. I will be packaging at a later date this week um, because I actually have to make the punch needle stuff and the stickers. I'm also balancing moving and packing to move. So I'm going to uh, edit the processing times on my website to reflect a little bit of a longer processing time just for the next couple of weeks while I pack and get ready to move. But until then, anyone who wants to order a punch needle kit, they are back in stock. I don't know like when you're watching this if they're going to be still in stock, but I'm working in batches. I don't think I mentioned this last week, but I'm going to be working in segments or batches. So I'm going to release like maybe like 10 to 15 at a time so I don't overwhelm myself because like I said, I am packing and moving and a lot is happening at the end of this month. I'm also prepping for my first market. So there's just like a lot at once at the end of April. So I want to give myself enough time to really like move and just not get too overwhelmed and get too burnt out right before my first market of the year. So I'm going to put these all in my car because there's so many boxes and I'm going to take some pictures first um, for Instagram and then I'm going to continue filming my day in the life on my phone. But I am, it is 1042 and I'm going to grab a quick snack. I literally laid on my floor in the basement because I was feeling so sick. I don't know why, but like ever since I had that stomach bug, my stomach sometimes will just feel really, really weak at certain times of the day. So I just kind of have to lay there and wait for it to pass. Um, but now I'm going to grab a quick snack and then we're going to load all this into the car so that once we're done Pilates and the doctors, I'll be able to just quickly drop these off at the post office and they'll be on their way to you guys. So thank you so much for all the love on this launch. I just wanted to say like, I am so grateful for you and I would not be able to even make these kits if it wasn't for you guys watching and for you guys ordering and just supporting me. So thank you very much. I am so, 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 so happy that you are supporting me and my little business. So I'm going to pack away all the mess that I made and bring like all the stuff downstairs back in my office. And then I'll see you guys probably once we're back from Pilates and the doctor's office. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Never met someone. It's so nice to punch needle and like punch needle without timelines. Just punch needle at my own pace. to you guys since before I left for Pilates. I did some punch needling today. I did not do a lot. This is what I've gotten done. Maybe like 50 minutes of punch needle. I'm gonna do more tomorrow. Hopefully I'll finish this frame by tomorrow but if not tomorrow then I'll finish it tomorrow on on Thursday morning because tomorrow's Wednesday. So I am headed to go on a walk with Jacob because I, it's so beautiful outside. I can't be stuck in here working. I need to go outside and enjoy. I did go to the doctor and I got some good news. It is not an infection and it's actually not even eczema. It is due to the fact that I have been literally living in my basement for like three years almost and it is due to the mold that's present in basements. Not just mine but like a lot of other basements have mold because it gets super cold down here and then it also gets super hot down here so then it creates like condensation and vapor in the walls and in the floor so it's not like there's actual mold like on my walls in the basement but I'm breathing it in every day and it's causing like mold toxicity or whatever so yeah I know how to fix it one not being in the basement so I probably won't be filming down here um a lot of the time I'm doing it right now because 
everyone's upstairs and it's super loud but i won't be filming in here i'm kind of just going to be working upstairs and bringing stuff upstairs as i need it and then um i'll be filming in the new office and in the new house when we move so that's just a little update. Uh, I know a lot of you guys were wishing me good wishes on my health, so this is a positive update. I hope that in the next couple of weeks it starts to subside, the itching starts to go away, and I start to feel a lot better. I hope that this also helps a lot of the other health issues that I've been experiencing the past couple of years. My immune system has been just really bad, but I feel like that makes a lot more sense why my immune system would be so bad. So I'm excited and I need to do a lot more cardio at the gym. So I think I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow and kind of kickstart my gym girl era along with my Pilates princess era. So that's an update. I am going to go on my walk, get some dessert, and then we're going to come back. I may or may not punch in a little bit more when I come back. Depends on how I'm feeling. I may just end up going to bed because I'm getting up super early tomorrow and... Yeah, so if I don't see you guys for the rest of the night, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I am in such a good mood. Why, you ask? Because my eye is like almost better. I'm so happy. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna shower because I just went to the gym. <laughs> Who is she? She went to the gym? Yeah, and I died. I was literally working out for like 30 minutes and I actually physically cannot even walk up the stairs without my legs like giving out. Like that's how sore my muscles are. And I went with my mom, we did a walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes and then we did 30 minutes of like legs. Literally my legs are so dead. Anyway, I got the email that the air fresheners are shipping. So I got the tracking number and everything. So hopefully it'll be here next week, early next week, I hope. Um, they sent it, my manufacturer sent it with the faster shipping this time, but it's shipping with FedEx and FedEx always gives me trouble. So I am literally praying and manifesting and doing everything I can to make sure that this arrives to me because I had one bad experience where I ordered gym clothes and they lost it and they never like rectified it for me. I never got my money back or anything like that. So I really hope that I don't lose over five boxes of air fresheners because I will have a meltdown if that happens because then I have to wait like three weeks for them to remake my order. So I'm just hoping and I'm just sending good vibes to FedEx. I love you. Please don't lose my package. currently four o'clock and I've been punch nailing for pretty much the whole day. I did take a break to go out for an hour to go and look at a piece of furniture with my mom. Also my hair is looking kind of weird. Anyway, don't look at that. Um, this is what I've gotten done for the frame so far. We're pretty much almost done. I have a couple more coasters, car coasters to start and I do have to start the last full size mug rug. But other than that, we're making such good progress. A lot of this is for market inventory. I did a new colorway for the daisy cluster and it's so cute. I was kind of nervous about how it would turn out, but it actually looks really good. I have gotten a lot done. I'm pretty tired of punching a link for right now. So I'm gonna go and see what I'm gonna make for dinner or if we have enough leftovers from yesterday. And then I'm probably gonna pack some more boxes tonight with my mom, but I'm gonna try and get some more punching ling done tonight. Hopefully I finish the frame before I go to bed. But yeah, that's pretty much literally all I'm doing today because tomorrow we're going to prep these or finish them in the morning and then we're going to work on stickers and bookmarks because we have some orders to get out and I have to figure out how I'm gonna make those because I can't work in the basement. So I think I need to bring them up, but we don't have a lot of plugs that work up here. So I'm gonna have to figure something out, but that's gonna be tomorrow's problem. Kind of stinks. Good morning. Happy Friday. I don't think I've filmed in a long time. It's been, I don't know, like two days since I filmed for this vlog. Today or this week has been very 
lackluster. There's been a lot going on. My brother is sick, Jacob is sick. I am moving and I am trying to like pack and organize and also figure out what I'm doing with my office downstairs along with like trying to manage my health. So things have just been a little bit crazy. So here is the deal. I moved my office, well, half of my office upstairs into my brother's room, which is gonna be my office once we all move out of this house. So I don't get to move the rest of my stuff until April 27th because that's when we get the truck to officially move out all of the big stuff, like our couch, our beds and everything. And I don't wanna like strip my brother away from a room completely because that's me. So I put in my two Ikea desks and my computer desk on one wall of the room and then his bed is on the other side of the room. So while he's at school, I'll be working and I don't usually work in the office on the weekends, so that's fine. And this is only temporary for another two weeks until we move. And until then, we're gonna be working upstairs. I'm filming down here because my mom's on a meeting and her office is right across the hallway from my brother's room, which is my office soon to be. So I can't talk in there right now. But I'm going to bring stuff down from downstairs upstairs because I only moved the desks yesterday when my mom's boyfriend was home from work because they were kind of heavy and I couldn't do it by myself. So I just brought the desks upstairs and I'm gonna bring my printers, my Cameo. I'm gonna bring some of like the stuff that was on the shelf from before so that I can start to kind of get the office into a somewhat of a working condition. I have quite a bit of things to do. I need to pack orders first and foremost. I was supposed to get them out yesterday, but I had no office and no way to pack any orders yesterday because everything was unplugged, everything was being moved. So I need to get those out like today, like right now. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to bring everything up and then I'm gonna package up those orders. I finished all the coasters yesterday. I glued them and I put the logos and everything so they're all ready. I will show you them after. I did make a little like TikTok video about it. So maybe I'll like insert it here somewhere for you guys to watch because I've been on my short form game lately. I've been doing a lot of recording on my phone. But anyway, I'm gonna kind of get started. It's 10.15 and I am stopping to go out for lunch with Jacob because he's working from home today. So around one o'clock, I'm gonna be going out for lunch for an hour and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna work until I have my Pilates class. For the most part i'm going to now work on packaging up these orders because they need to be packaged since yesterday so i'm running late but i usually am never late on orders but yesterday was a crazy day so i'm going to package up these orders i'm going to pack i mean i'm going to print the little backing cards for the car coasters that need to go out and then i'm going to print any other stickers and stuff that i need to make i also have a wholesale order that i need to package up so we're gonna do that now Pretending it's no it all ends So I can just 